How Jesus Became God The belief in the divinity of Jesus is a fundamental aspect of Christianity. However, the process by which Jesus is believed to have become God is a matter of great debate among different Christian denominations. This document explores the various theories and arguments surrounding how Jesus became God. The Incarnation Theory One prominent theory that explains Jesus' divinity is the Incarnation Theory. According to this theory, Jesus, who is the Son of God, became human through the Incarnation, a process in which a divine being assumes human form. Some proponents of the Incarnation Theory believe that Jesus' divinity was merged with his human nature in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Others argue that Jesus' divine nature was gradually revealed through his words and actions during his earthly life. The Divine Sonship Theory Another theory that explains Jesus' divinity is the Divine Sonship Theory. According to this theory, Jesus is the second person of the Trinity, along with God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Proponents of the Divine Sonship Theory argue that Jesus is fully God and fully human, being both fully divine and fully human at the same time. They base their belief on passages in the New Testament such as John 1 verse 1, which states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Adoption Theory The Adoption Theory is another proposal that attempts to explain how Jesus became God. According to this theory, Jesus is a created being who was adopted by God as his divine son. Proponents of the adoption theory argue that Jesus is not equal to God but is subordinate to him. They base their belief on passages in the New Testament such as Colossians 1 verses 15 to 19, which states, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. The Aspiration Theory The Aspiration Theory is another proposal that attempts to explain how Jesus became God. According to this theory, Jesus experienced a divine revelation or transformation during his earthly life that led him to recognize his divine nature. Proponents of the aspiration theory argue that Jesus' divinity was not inherent but developed over time through his interactions with God and his followers. They based their belief on passages in the New Testament such as Mark 14 verses 61 to 62, which states, But Jesus remained silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus replied, You have said so. Conclusion The process by which Jesus is believed to have become God is a complex and multifaceted subject. While different Christian denominations hold different beliefs and theories, the Incarnation Theory, the Divine Sonship Theory, the Adoption Theory, and the aspiration theory are some of the main proposals that try to explain how Jesus became God. Understanding Jesus' divinity is a central aspect of the Christian faith, and these theories provide different perspectives on the question. Ultimately, believers hold various interpretations based on their individual beliefs and theological frameworks. Chapter 1. How Jesus Became God the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus. Throughout the centuries, the question of Jesus' divinity has been a topic of intense debate and theological inquiry. Christians, in particular, have grappled with the concept of how Jesus became God, seeking to unravel the mystery behind this fundamental belief. In the subchapter titled The Historical Debate Surrounding the Divinity of Jesus, we will delve into the various perspectives and arguments that have shaped this discourse. Exploring the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings, we will uncover the gradual transformation of Jesus from a revered prophet to the divine figure worshipped by Christians today. We will examine the role of Jesus' miracles and teachings in shaping his divinity, as these extraordinary acts and profound words left an indelible impression on his followers. Studying how the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God, 
we will delve into the historical and socio-cultural factors that influenced this development. We will critically examine the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity, analyzing the scriptural evidence and philosophical reasoning put forth by scholars and theologians. Moreover, we will explore the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus. The amalgamation of these diverse religious traditions played a significant role in shaping the early Christian understanding of Jesus' divinity. One pivotal event in the history of this debate was the Council of Nicaea. We will unravel the role this council played in defining Jesus' divinity and the impact it had on the development of Christian theology. Additionally, we will analyze the early Christian writings that present alternative views on the nature of Jesus, shedding light on the diverse perspectives within the early Christian community. Through investigating the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology, we will trace the theological implications that arose as a result of this belief. We will explore how this understanding of Jesus as God shaped the core tenets of Christianity, such as the Trinity and the doctrine of salvation. Finally, we will address the ongoing relevance and significance of the question how Jesus became God in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By engaging with this historical debate, Christians can deepen their understanding of their faith and grapple with the complexities surrounding the divinity of Jesus. Exploring the Evolution of Jesus' Portrayal in Early Christian Writings In the quest to understand the divinity of Jesus, it is crucial for Christians to examine the evolution of his portrayal in the early Christian writings. These writings provide us with valuable insights into how the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God. The historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus has been a topic of great significance to Christians for centuries. The early Christian writings offer us a window into the diverse perspectives and interpretations of Jesus' nature among the early believers. One of the key factors that contributed to the development of Jesus' divinity was the role of his miracles and teachings. The remarkable acts he performed and the profound wisdom he imparted left a lasting impression on his followers, leading them to view him as more than just a mere human being. Furthermore, it is essential to critically examine the theological arguments both for and against Jesus' divinity. This examination allows us to understand the rationale behind the early Christians' belief in Jesus' divine nature and the challenges they faced from those who held alternative views. The influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus cannot be overlooked either. The early Christians lived in a world deeply influenced by these religious traditions, and it is evident that some of these ideas seeped into their understanding of Jesus' divinity. The Council of Nicaea played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity and establishing a standardized doctrine. This historical event had a profound impact on shaping Christian theology and solidifying the belief in Jesus as God. However, it is important to note that not all early Christian writings presented a unanimous view on the nature of Jesus. There were alternative perspectives that challenged the dominant understanding, and studying these writings provides us with a more comprehensive understanding of the diverse theological landscape of the time. The impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology cannot be underestimated. It shaped the beliefs and practices of the early Christian community and laid the foundation for the development of Christianity as a distinct religious tradition. Even in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship, the question of how Jesus became God remains relevant and significant. It is an ongoing exploration that continues to inform our understanding of Jesus' nature and his role in the Christian faith. In conclusion, exploring the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings is crucial for Christians seeking to understand the development of the belief in Jesus as God. It provides us with valuable insights into the diverse perspectives, theological debates, and influences that shaped the understanding of Jesus' divinity in the early Christian community. The Role of Jesus' Miracles and Teachings in Shaping His Divinity in the quest to understand how Jesus became God, 
it is crucial to examine the role of his miracles and teachings in shaping his divinity. As Christians, we believe that Jesus was not just a prophet or a wise teacher, but the Son of God. This belief is deeply rooted in the miracles he performed and the profound teachings he shared with his disciples and followers. Jesus' miracles were extraordinary acts that surpassed the natural order of things. He healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, turned water into wine, and even brought the dead back to life. These miracles were not merely displays of power, but rather signs that pointed to his divinity. Through these miracles, Jesus demonstrated his authority over creation and revealed himself as the source of life and healing. Furthermore, Jesus' teachings were unlike any other. He spoke with authority, challenging the religious leaders and presenting radical ideas about the kingdom of God. His teachings on love, forgiveness, and redemption touched the hearts of many and continue to inspire millions of believers today. It is through these teachings that Jesus revealed his divine wisdom and revealed himself as the embodiment of God's truth. The miracles and teachings of Jesus played a crucial role in shaping his divinity because they provided evidence of his identity as the Son of God. They were not just random acts or lofty words, but intentional expressions of his divine nature. Jesus' miracles and teachings were a testament to his power, wisdom, and love, drawing people closer to God and revealing the fullness of his divinity. As Christians, we must recognize the significance of Jesus' miracles and teachings in shaping our understanding of his divinity. They are not mere historical anecdotes or moral lessons, but powerful demonstrations of God's love and grace. By studying and reflecting on these miracles and teachings, we can deepen our faith and develop a greater appreciation for the divine nature of Jesus. In conclusion, the role of Jesus' miracles and teachings in shaping his divinity is undeniable. Through his extraordinary acts and profound words, Jesus revealed himself as the Son of God and laid the foundation for our faith. As Christians, we should continue to explore and cherish these miracles and teachings, recognizing their significance in our journey of understanding how Jesus became God. Studying how the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God. In the early days of Christianity, the concept of Jesus as God was not immediately embraced by the early Christian community. This subchapter delves into the fascinating journey of how this idea gradually took hold and became a central tenet of Christian belief. The path towards recognizing Jesus as God was a complex one, marked by theological debates, evolving interpretations of scripture, and the influence of various cultural and religious beliefs. At the heart of this journey were the writings of early Christians, which provide valuable insights into the development of this idea. The early Christian writings reveal a gradual shift in the portrayal of Jesus. Initially, Jesus was primarily seen as a human being, a prophet, and a teacher. However, as the community reflected on Jesus' life, miracles, and teachings, they began to recognize his divinity. The profound impact of Jesus' miracles and teachings on his followers played a pivotal role in shaping their understanding of his divine nature. The theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity were fiercely debated within the early Christian community. Some argued that G chapter 2, the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus. Exploring the religious context of the ancient world. Exploring the religious context of the ancient world. In the quest to understand how Jesus became God, it is crucial to examine the religious context of the ancient world. This subchapter delves into the religious landscape that shaped early Christianity and influenced the evolving perception of Jesus' divinity. The ancient world was a tapestry of diverse religious beliefs, and Christianity emerged within this rich tapestry. To comprehend the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus, it is essential to explore the various religious traditions that existed during that time. From the mystical practices of the Egyptians to the philosophical ideals of the Greeks, these belief systems provided a backdrop against which early Christian thought developed. 
Early Christian writings offer valuable insights into the evolution of Jesus' portrayal. By analyzing these texts, we can trace how Jesus' miracles and teachings played a significant role in shaping his divinity. Furthermore, we can observe how the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God, as it grappled with the implications of his life and teachings. This subchapter critically examines the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity. It delves into the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus, highlighting how these external influences shaped early Christian thought. The Council of Nicaea played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity. By exploring its decisions and the historical context in which it operated, we gain a deeper understanding of how the early Christian community sought to establish a unified understanding of Jesus' nature. To provide a comprehensive view, this subchapter also analyzes early Christian writings that present alternative views on the nature of Jesus. By investigating these descending voices, we can appreciate the diversity of thought within early Christianity. Finally, this subchapter explores the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. It examines how this belief shaped the foundation of the Christian faith and continues to influence contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. In unraveling the mystery of how Jesus became God, exploring the religious context of the ancient world is vital. By delving into the historical, theological, and cultural factors that influenced early Christian thought, we gain a deeper appreciation for the significance of this question in both ancient and contemporary Christian theology. Analyzing the Impact of Hellenistic Philosophy on Early Christian Thought The influence of Hellenistic philosophy on early Christian thought cannot be underestimated. In order to understand how Jesus became God, it is crucial to explore the impact of Hellenistic philosophy on the development of Christian theology. The blending of Greek philosophical ideas with Jewish religious beliefs played a significant role in shaping the concept of Jesus' divinity. The Hellenistic period, which began after the conquests of Alexander the Great and lasted until the rise of the Roman Empire, was characterized by a fusion of Greek culture and ideas with those of other civilizations. This period witnessed the emergence of various philosophical schools, such as Stoicism, Epicureanism, and Neoplatonism, which had a profound influence on the intellectual climate of the time. Early Christians, many of whom were Greek-speaking and familiar with Hellenistic philosophy, were naturally influenced by these ideas. They sought to reconcile the teachings of Jesus with the philosophical concepts they encountered in their cultural milieu. In doing so, they developed a sophisticated theological framework to explain the nature of Jesus and his relationship to God. One of the key philosophical ideas that influenced early Christian thought was the concept of divine incarnation. In Hellenistic philosophy, it was not uncommon to believe in God's taking on human form. This notion resonated with the early Christians as they grappled with the mystery of Jesus' divine nature. They saw Jesus as the incarnation of God, the divine logos made flesh. Furthermore, Hellenistic philosophy provided early Christians with a language and concepts to articulate their beliefs about Jesus. The language of Greek philosophy enabled them to express complex theological ideas, such as the Trinity and the hypostatic union, which became central to Christian doctrine. In addition, Hellenistic philosophy also shaped early Christian understandings of morality and ethics. The Stoic concept of the Logos, for example, influenced the Christian emphasis on living a virtuous life and following the teachings of Jesus. However, the influence of Hellenistic philosophy on early Christian thought was not without its challenges. Some Christians, such as the Gnostics, embraced certain aspects of Greek philosophy, such as dualism and the rejection of the material world, which led to alternative views on the nature of Jesus. In conclusion, the impact of Hellenistic philosophy on early Christian thought was profound. It provided Christians with a framework to understand and articulate their beliefs about the divinity of Jesus. 
By blending Greek philosophical ideas with Jewish religious beliefs, early Christians developed a rich theological tradition that continues to shape contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. Understanding this historical context is crucial for Christians seeking to unravel the mystery of how Jesus became God. Examining the role of Roman imperial cult in shaping the perception of divinity. In the early centuries of the Christian era, the Roman imperial cult played a significant role in shaping the perception of divinity, particularly in relation to the person of Jesus Christ. The imperial cult was a state-sponsored religious system that venerated the Roman emperor as a divine figure. This system had a profound impact on the religious landscape of the time and influenced the way early Christians understood and portrayed the divinity of Jesus. One of the key ways in which the Roman imperial cult influenced the perception of divinity was through its emphasis on the emperor's divine status. The emperor was worshipped as a god, and his portrait and statues were displayed throughout the empire. This cultic practice set a precedent for the deification of human figures, paving the way for the early Christians to conceive of Jesus as a divine being. The influence of the imperial cult can be seen in the early Christian writings where Jesus is portrayed as a divine figure who performed miracles and taught with divine authority. The idea of Jesus as the Son of God, equal in divinity with the Father, can be traced back to the influence of the imperial cult. The early Christians, living in a Roman world saturated with the worship of the emperor, sought to present Jesus as a superior divine figure, worthy of worship and devotion. The Council of Nicaea, convened in 325 CE, played a crucial role in defining Jesus' divinity and solidifying it within Christian theology. At the Council, the Nicene Creed was formulated, affirming Jesus as begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. This creed, influenced by the prevailing Roman imperial cult, established the Orthodox Christian belief in the divinity of Jesus and condemned alternative views as heresy. However, it is important to critically examine the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity. Some early Christian writings present alternative views on the nature of Jesus, suggesting that the concept of his divinity was not universally accepted in the early Christian community. These alternative views challenge the dominant narrative and invite further exploration of the evolving understanding of Jesus' divinity. The question of how Jesus became God continues to be relevant and significant in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By understanding the role of the Roman imperial cult in the historical context in which the early Christians lived, we can gain a deeper appreciation of the complexity surrounding the development of the concept of Jesus' divinity. This exploration helps us to critically engage with our own beliefs and understandings of Jesus as Christians enriching our understanding of the foundations of our faith. Chapter 3, The Council of Nicaea and the Definition of Jesus' Divinity Understanding the Historical Context of the Council of Nicaea The Council of Nicaea, held in 325 AD, is a pivotal event in the history of Christianity that played a crucial role in shaping the understanding of Jesus as God. To truly grasp the significance of this council, it is important to delve into the historical context in which it took place. At the time, Christianity was still a relatively young and diverse religion, with different interpretations of Jesus' nature and divinity. The early Christian community was grappling with the question of how Jesus, a human being, could also be considered divine. This debate was not only theological but also had profound social and political implications. To understand the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus, one must explore the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings. These writings, such as the Gospels and the Letters of the Apostles, offer valuable insights into how the early Christians understood and interpreted Jesus' teachings, miracles, and life. The role of Jesus' miracles and teachings cannot be underestimated in shaping his divinity. The extraordinary acts attributed to Jesus, along with his profound teachings, contributed to the growing belief in his divine nature. As the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God, 
various theological arguments emerged, both supporting and contesting this view. The influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs also played a significant role in the deification of Jesus. The blending of Greek philosophy and Roman imperial cults with early Christian beliefs influenced the way Jesus' divinity was understood and articulated. The Council of Nicaea played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity. It was here that the theological debates surrounding the nature of Jesus came to a head, particularly in relation to the concept of the Trinity. The Council's decisions, including the formulation of the Nicene Creed, had a profound impact on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. However, it is important to note that alternative views on the nature of Jesus existed in early Christian writings. The writings of groups such as the Gnostics and Arians offer distinct perspectives that challenge the mainstream understanding of Jesus' divinity. Investigating the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology reveals the lasting significance of this question. The ongoing relevance and significance of understanding how Jesus became God continue to shape contemporary Christian theology and scholarship, as believers seek to deepen their understanding of Jesus' identity and the implications it holds for their faith. In conclusion, understanding the historical context of the Council of Nicaea is crucial in comprehending the intricacies of how Jesus became God. Exploring the diverse interpretations of Jesus' divinity, the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs, and the role of the Council of Nicaea sheds light on the ongoing relevance and significance of this question in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. Exploring the Key Debates and Arguments at the Council In the subchapter titled Exploring the Key Debates and Arguments at the Council, we delve into the intriguing discussions that took place at the Council of Nicaea and the surrounding issues that led to the formulation of the doctrine of Jesus' divinity. This pivotal event in early Christianity played a crucial role in shaping the understanding of Jesus as God and its significance continues to reverberate in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. At the Council of Nicaea, the divinity of Jesus Christ became a central topic of debate among early Christian leaders. Scholars and theologians wrestled with the historical debate surrounding the nature of Jesus, seeking to reconcile his humanity with his perceived divinity. This heated discussion marked a turning point in the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings. One of the primary factors that shaped the perception of Jesus' divinity was his extraordinary miracles and teachings. The Council explored the role of these remarkable acts in shaping his divine status, examining their significance in relation to his divine mission and purpose. Furthermore, the Council delved into the gradual acceptance of Jesus as God by the early Christian community. It critically analyzed the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity, seeking to establish a consensus among the diverse voices within the Church. The influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus was also a key consideration. The Council sought to understand the cultural context in which the early Christians developed their understanding of Jesus' divine nature. Alternative views on the nature of Jesus were presented in early Christian writings, and these were carefully examined at the Council. The participants analyzed these writings, investigating their impact on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. Ultimately, the Council of Nicaea played a central role in defining Jesus' divinity, establishing a theological framework that shaped the course of Christian thought for centuries to come. The impact of this defining moment on Christian theology and the ongoing relevance of the question how Jesus became God continued to captivate the minds of scholars and theologians in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. In conclusion, the subchapter exploring the key debates and arguments at the Council provides Christians with a comprehensive analysis of the historical, theological, and cultural factors that influence the understanding of Jesus' divinity. By studying the discussions and decisions made at the Council of Nicaea, readers can gain a deeper appreciation for the development of Christian doctrine and the ongoing significance of Jesus' divinity in contemporary Christian theology.
analyzing the outcome and impact of the Council's decisions. Once the Council of Nicaea had concluded its deliberations, the outcome and impact of its decisions reverberated throughout the early Christian community. This monumental event, held in 325 CE, was a turning point in the history of Christianity and played a crucial role in shaping the divinity of Jesus. It is essential for Christians to understand the significance of these decisions and their lasting impact on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. The Council of Nicaea, under the guidance of Emperor Constantine, sought to resolve the ongoing debate surrounding the nature and divinity of Jesus. It was during this council that the concept of the Trinity was officially formulated, solidifying Jesus' status as God. This decision had far-reaching consequences, as it established a foundational belief that is still central to mainstream Christian theology today. The Council's decision not only defined Jesus' divinity but also had a profound impact on the early Christian writings and the portrayal of Jesus. The Gospels and other early Christian texts were reinterpreted in light of the Council's decisions, emphasizing Jesus' divine nature and downplaying any alternative views. This shift in perspective influenced subsequent Christian writings, shaping the understanding of Jesus as God throughout Christian history. Furthermore, the Council's decisions were not without controversy. Alternative views and theological arguments challenging the divinity of Jesus persisted even after the Council's proclamation. Some early Christian writings presented alternative perspectives on the nature of Jesus, suggesting that the Council's decisions were not universally accepted. The influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus cannot be overlooked. The Council's decisions were heavily influenced by the prevailing religious ideas of the time, incorporating elements of pagan beliefs into Christian theology. This syncretism played a significant role in shaping the understanding of Jesus' divinity and the development of Christian doctrine. Today, the question of how Jesus became God remains relevant and significant in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. The impact of the Council's decisions continues to be studied and debated, as scholars seek to understand the historical context and implications of these theological developments. In conclusion, the outcome and impact of the Council of Nicaea's decisions were profound and far-reaching. Christians today must engage with the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus and critically examine the theological arguments for and against this belief. Understanding the Council's decisions and their implications is crucial for comprehending the development of Christian theology and the ongoing relevance of the question how Jesus became God. Chapter 4 Alternative Views on the Nature of Jesus in Early Christian Writings Investigating Gnostic and Non-Orthodox Christian Texts In the quest to understand how Jesus became God, it is crucial to explore the various texts and writings from early Christianity that offer alternative perspectives on the nature of Jesus. These texts, often referred to as Gnostic and non-Orthodox Christian texts, shed light on the diverse beliefs and debates surrounding Jesus' divinity in the early Christian community. Gnostic texts, such as the Gospel of Thomas and the Gospel of Judas, offer unique insights into the understanding of Jesus' teachings and his relationship to God. These texts emphasize esoteric knowledge and spiritual enlightenment, presenting Jesus as a divine figure who imparts secret wisdom to his followers. The Gnostic texts challenge the traditional orthodoxy by proposing a more mystical interpretation of Jesus' divinity. Non-orthodox Christian texts, like the Acts of Paul and Thecla or the Gospel of Peter, present alternative narratives of Jesus' life and death. These texts often offer different perspectives on Jesus' miracles, teachings, and resurrection, highlighting the diversity of early Christian beliefs. By examining these non-Orthodox texts, we gain a deeper understanding of the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus and the evolving portrayal of Jesus in early Christian writings. Furthermore, the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus cannot be ignored. The cultural milieu of the time played a significant role in shaping the understanding of Jesus as God. 
By exploring the cultural and religious context of the ancient world, we can better grasp the factors that contributed to the gradual acceptance of Jesus' divinity within the early Christian community. The Council of Nicaea also played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity and establishing Orthodox Christian doctrine. Analyzing the early Christian writings that present alternative views on the nature of Jesus helps us understand the historical context in which these theological debates arose. By critically examining the arguments for and against Jesus' divinity, we gain a more nuanced understanding of the development of Christian doctrine and theology. The question of how Jesus became God remains relevant and significant in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. Exploring the evolution of Jesus' portrayal and the impact of his divinity on the development of Christian doctrine allows us to engage with the theological complexities surrounding the nature of Jesus. By delving into the investigation of Gnostic and non-Orthodox Christian texts, we uncover a rich tapestry of beliefs and perspectives that contribute to our understanding of Jesus' divinity and its ongoing relevance in contemporary Christianity. Examining the Teachings of Ebionites and Arians In our quest to understand how Jesus became God, it is essential to examine the teachings of two significant groups in early Christianity, the Ebionites and the Arians. These groups held alternative views on the nature of Jesus, challenging the emerging consensus on his divinity. The Ebionites, a Jewish Christian sect, believed that Jesus was a human prophet chosen by God. They rejected the idea of his pre-existence or divine nature, emphasizing Jesus' role as a teacher of righteousness. According to their teachings, Jesus' divinity was not intrinsic but rather derived from his obedience to God's will. For the Ebionites, Jesus was not God but a model of devotion and piety for all humanity. On the other hand, the Arians, led by Arius, took a different stance. They argued that Jesus was a created being, distinct from God the Father. According to Arian theology, Jesus was the first and greatest of God's creations, but not equal to God in essence. This belief challenged the growing consensus on Jesus' full divinity and sparked intense debates within the early Christian community. Both the Ebionites and the Arians posed significant challenges to the emerging orthodoxy on the divinity of Jesus. Their teachings forced early Christian theologians to critically examine and defend their beliefs. These debates ultimately shaped the development of Christian doctrine and theology. For Christians today, understanding the teachings of the Ebionites and the Arians provides valuable insights into the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus. It encourages us to critically examine our own beliefs and engage with the diverse perspectives that existed in the early Christian community. By exploring the theological arguments put forth by these groups, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of the question, how did Jesus become God? We see how early Christians grappled with different interpretations of Jesus' nature and the implications of these beliefs for their faith. In contemporary Christian theology and scholarship, the question of Jesus' divinity remains relevant and significant. The examination of alternative views, such as those held by the Ebionites and the Arians, allows us to engage in a thoughtful and informed discussion about the nature of Jesus and its impact on our understanding of God and salvation. In the chapters to come, we will continue to explore the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings and delve deeper into the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus. We will also analyze the role of the Council of Nicaea in defining Jesus' divinity and investigate the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. As we embark on this journey, let us approach the teachings of the Ebionites and the Arians with an open mind, recognizing the richness and diversity of early Christian thought, and seeking a deeper understanding of how Jesus became God. Analyzing the Significance of Alternative Views on Jesus' Divinity In the book Unveiling the Mystery, How Jesus Became God, we delve into the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus, aiming to provide a comprehensive understanding of this complex and profound topic. 
As Christians, it is crucial for us to explore and critically examine the various alternative views on Jesus' divinity, as it shapes not only our understanding of Jesus but also the development of Christian doctrine and theology. One of the key aspects we explore is the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings. These writings offer different perspectives on Jesus' nature, with some emphasizing his humanity and others highlighting his divinity. By studying these texts, we gain insight into how the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God. Furthermore, we delve into the role of Jesus' miracles and teachings in shaping his divinity. The extraordinary acts performed by Jesus and his profound teachings played a significant role in convincing his followers of his divine nature. We examine the theological arguments both for and against Jesus' divinity, critically analyzing their merits and implications. To fully understand the historical context, we explore the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus. These cultural and philosophical influences played a crucial role in shaping early Christian beliefs about Jesus' divinity. Moreover, we explore the Council of Nicaea, which played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity. This council sought to address the controversies and various interpretations surrounding Jesus' nature. We analyze its significance in shaping Christian theology and doctrine. Throughout our exploration, we also investigate alternative views presented in early Christian writings. These texts offer distinct perspectives on the nature of Jesus, challenging the commonly accepted notions of his divinity. By critically examining these alternative views, we gain a more nuanced understanding of the historical debates surrounding Jesus' divinity. Finally, we address the ongoing relevance and significance of the question how Jesus became God in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By engaging with this question, we deepen our understanding of Jesus' divinity and its impact on our faith. In unveiling the mystery, how Jesus became God, we invite Christians to engage in a thoughtful and comprehensive exploration of the historical, theological, and philosophical dimensions of Jesus' divinity. By critically examining alternative views and historical debates, we aim to deepen our understanding of this profound aspect of our faith. Chapter 5 – The Impact of Jesus' Divinity on the Development of Christian Doctrine and Theology Tracing the Evolution of Christology in Early Christian Thought In the subchapter Tracing the Evolution of Christology in Early Christian Thought, we embark on a fascinating journey through the historical development of the concept of Jesus' divinity within the early Christian community. This exploration aims to shed light on the question of how Jesus became God, a topic of great significance and relevance for Christians today. In order to grasp the complex evolution of Christology, it is essential to delve into the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus. This debate, which emerged in the early years of Christianity, gave rise to diverse perspectives and interpretations of Jesus' nature, ranging from a mere human prophet to a divine figure equal to God. We will then explore how Jesus' portrayal evolved in early Christian writings. These writings, including the Gospels and Epistles, provide invaluable insights into the gradual development of the understanding of Jesus' divinity. By examining the role of Jesus' miracles and teachings in shaping his divinity, we can better comprehend the factors that contributed to the growing belief in his divine status. Furthermore, we will critically examine the theological arguments both for and against Jesus' divinity. This analysis will help us understand the intellectual wrestlings within the early Christian community and the diverse perspectives that emerged as a result. To fully appreciate the context in which Jesus' divinity emerged, we will explore the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus. These external influences played a significant role in shaping the early Christians' understanding of Jesus' divine nature. The subchapter will also delve into the role of the Council of Nicaea in defining Jesus' divinity. 
This pivotal event in Christian history marks a significant turning point in the formulation of Orthodox Christian doctrine and solidifies the belief in Jesus as fully divine. In addition, we will analyze early Christian writings that present alternative views on the nature of Jesus. These texts offer valuable insights into the diversity of beliefs within the early Christian community and prompt us to question and critically evaluate prevailing Orthodox interpretations. By investigating the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology, we gain a deeper understanding of how this belief shaped the foundations of the Christian faith as it is known today. Ultimately, this subchapter seeks to highlight the ongoing relevance and significance of the question how Jesus became God in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By engaging in this exploration, Christians can deepen their understanding of the historical context in which their beliefs have evolved and continue to evolve, fostering a more informed and enriched faith. Exploring the Relationship Between Jesus' Divinity and Salvation In the subchapter titled Exploring the Relationship Between Jesus' Divinity and Salvation from the book Unveiling the Mystery, How Jesus Became God, we delve into a topic of great significance to Christians. This chapter addresses the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus and its implications for salvation. Throughout early Christian writings, we witness the evolution of Jesus' portrayal from a mere human teacher to a divine figure. His miracles and teachings played a significant role in shaping his divinity as they showcased his authority and power over the natural world. As the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God, they began to recognize the salvific power inherent in his divine nature. This subchapter critically examines the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity. It explores how Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs influenced the deification of Jesus, as these cultures were familiar with the concept of divine figures. Additionally, we delve into the role of the Council of Nicaea in defining Jesus' divinity and establishing the Nicene Creed, which became a cornerstone of Christian doctrine. To provide a comprehensive view, this chapter also analyzes early Christian writings that present alternative views on the nature of Jesus. By investigating these diverse perspectives, we gain a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding Jesus' divinity and the development of Christian theology. Furthermore, we investigate the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. This exploration sheds light on how Jesus' divine nature influenced key theological concepts such as the Trinity and the concept of salvation through faith in Him. Lastly, we consider the ongoing relevance and significance of the question how Jesus became God in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By engaging with this question, Christians can deepen their understanding of their faith and develop a more nuanced perspective on the divinity of Jesus. In conclusion, exploring the relationship between Jesus' divinity and salvation offers Christians a rich and thought-provoking examination of how Jesus became God and its implications for their faith and salvation. Through a comprehensive analysis of historical, theological, and cultural factors, this subchapter aims to enlighten and inspire readers on this fundamental aspect of Christian belief. Analyzing the Influence of Jesus' Divinity on Christian Worship and Sacraments In understanding the influence of Jesus' divinity on Christian worship and sacraments, it is crucial to delve into the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus. This debate has shaped the way Christians perceive and worship Jesus, as well as how they engage in sacramental practices. Exploring the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings reveals how his divinity was gradually embraced by the early Christian community. The role of Jesus' miracles and teachings played a significant part in shaping his divinity. As Christians witnessed these extraordinary events and heard his profound teachings, they began to see Jesus as more than just a human being, but as one with divine power and authority. Critically examining the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity allows us to understand the reasoning behind the belief in his divine nature. 
Early Christians drew upon their understanding of Jewish monotheism and the concept of the Messiah to affirm Jesus' divinity. Additionally, the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus cannot be ignored. The merging of these cultural and religious influences contributed to the development of the belief in Jesus as God. The Council of Nicaea played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity and solidifying its place within Christian theology. The debates and discussions during this council led to the formulation of the Nicene Creed, which affirmed Jesus' eternal divinity and his consubstantiality with the Father. However, it is important to recognize that not all early Christian writings presented a unanimous view on the nature of Jesus. Alternative views existed, challenging the Orthodox understanding of his divinity. Investigating these writings helps us grasp the diversity of theological perspectives within early Christianity. The impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology cannot be overstated. It influenced the understanding of the Trinity, the importance of baptism, and the celebration of the Eucharist. These sacraments, rooted in Jesus' divinity, hold significant meaning for Christians, symbolizing their union with God and the transformative power of Jesus' sacrifice. In contemporary Christian theology and scholarship, the question of how Jesus became God remains relevant and significant. It invites a deeper exploration of the historical and theological complexities surrounding the divinity of Jesus. By understanding the influence of Jesus' divinity on Christian worship and sacraments, Christians can engage in a more profound and meaningful relationship with God. Chapter 6 The Ongoing Relevance and Significance of the Question How Jesus Became God in Contemporary Christian Theology and Scholarship Examining Modern Interpretations and Debates on Jesus' Divinity In the Christian faith, the divinity of Jesus has been a topic of great importance and intense debate throughout history. How did Jesus, a humble carpenter from Nazareth, come to be regarded as God incarnate? What factors contributed to the evolution of his portrayal in early Christian writings, and how did the early Christian community gradually embrace the idea of Jesus as God? These questions have captivated theologians, scholars, and believers for centuries, shaping the development of Christian doctrine and theology. The historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus is a complex and multifaceted topic. Early Christian writings offer different perspectives on the nature of Jesus, presenting alternative views that challenge the traditional understanding of his divinity. Some argue that Jesus was a purely human figure, while others emphasize his divine nature. Exploring these diverse interpretations allows us to gain a deeper understanding of the complexities and nuances surrounding Jesus' identity. The role of Jesus' miracles and teachings cannot be overlooked when examining his divinity. These extraordinary acts and profound teachings were seen as evidence of his divine power and authority. They played a crucial role in shaping his divinity and influencing the early Christian community's acceptance of him as God. Furthermore, the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus cannot be ignored. The confluence of different cultures and religious traditions during the time of Jesus led to the incorporation of various elements into Christian theology, including the idea of a divine savior. The Council of Nicaea also played a pivotal role in defining Jesus' divinity. It was at this council that the doctrine of the Trinity was formulated, solidifying Jesus' position as the Son of God and part of the Holy Trinity. The council's decisions profoundly impacted the development of Christian theology, shaping the beliefs and practices of the faith for centuries to come. In contemporary Christian theology and scholarship, the question of how Jesus became God remains relevant and significant. As believers grapple with the complexities of their faith, understanding the historical debates and interpretations surrounding Jesus' divinity can deepen their appreciation for the richness and diversity of Christian thought. In conclusion, the examination of modern interpretations and debates on Jesus' divinity is a thought-provoking and enlightening journey. It invites Christians to explore the historical context, theological arguments, 
and alternative views surrounding the divinity of Jesus. By delving into these discussions, believers can gain a more comprehensive understanding of Jesus' identity and the profound impact it has had on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. Understanding the Implications of Jesus' Divinity for Christian Faith and Practice The concept of Jesus' divinity has been a subject of great debate and contemplation throughout Christian history. In this subchapter, we will delve into the profound implications of Jesus' divinity for Christian faith and practice. By exploring various aspects such as historical debates, early Christian writings, miracles and teachings, theological arguments, and the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs, we hope to shed light on the significance of Jesus' divinity and its impact on Christian theology. To truly comprehend how Jesus became God, we need to examine the historical debate surrounding this topic. By analyzing the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings, we can gain insights into how the perception of his divinity developed over time. We will explore how Jesus' miracles and teachings played a pivotal role in shaping his divine image and how the early Christian community gradually embraced the idea of Jesus as God. Furthermore, it is essential to critically examine the theological arguments for and against Jesus' divinity. By considering different perspectives, we can gain a comprehensive understanding of the diverse opinions that have shaped Christian theology throughout the centuries. We will also explore the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus, recognizing the cultural and historical context that influenced early Christian thought. The role of the Council of Nicaea in defining Jesus' divinity cannot be overlooked. We will delve into the significance of this council and its impact on the development of Christian doctrine and theology. Additionally, we will analyze early Christian writings that present alternative views on the nature of Jesus, recognizing the diversity of theological thought in early Christianity. Finally, we will investigate the ongoing relevance and significance of the question how Jesus became God in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By understanding the historical and theological complexities surrounding Jesus' divinity, we can appreciate its profound impact on Christian faith and practice today. In conclusion, this subchapter aims to provide Christians with a comprehensive understanding of the implications of Jesus' divinity for their faith and practice. By exploring historical debates, early Christian writings, theological arguments, and the influence of cultural beliefs, we hope to illuminate the significance of Jesus' divinity and its ongoing relevance in Christian theology and scholarship. Considering the role of historical and theological research in shaping contemporary perspectives on Jesus' divinity. Considering the role of historical and theological research in shaping contemporary perspectives on Jesus' divinity. In the book Unveiling the Mystery, How Jesus Became God, we delve into a thought-provoking exploration of the historical and theological research that has shaped contemporary perspectives on Jesus' divinity. This subchapter aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of the intricate journey and debates surrounding this profound topic, specifically tailored to a Christian audience. We start by examining the historical debate surrounding the divinity of Jesus, delving into the various viewpoints and controversies that have arisen throughout centuries of scholarship. By understanding the evolution of Jesus' portrayal in early Christian writings, we gain insight into the contextual factors that influenced how his divinity was perceived and interpreted. Furthermore, we explore the pivotal role of Jesus' miracles and teachings in shaping his divinity. By critically analyzing these aspects, we can begin to grasp the profound impact they had on the early Christian community and their gradual acceptance of Jesus as God. We also delve into the theological arguments both for and against Jesus' divinity, critically examining the various viewpoints that have emerged over time. This allows us to engage in a thoughtful analysis of the diverse perspectives that have shaped Christian theology. To fully comprehend the historical context, we must explore the influence of Hellenistic and Roman religious beliefs on the deification of Jesus. By understanding these broader cultural currents, 
we gain a deeper appreciation for the unique blend of theological and cultural influences that shaped early Christian thought. The subchapter also delves into the role of the Council of Nicaea, a pivotal moment in defining Jesus' divinity. By analyzing the discussions and decisions made during this council, we can understand their lasting impact on Christian doctrine and theology. It is essential to consider alternative views on the nature of Jesus presented in early Christian writings. By investigating these divergent perspectives, we gain a more comprehensive understanding of the complexities surrounding Jesus' divinity. Finally, we explore the ongoing relevance and significance of the question how Jesus became God in contemporary Christian theology and scholarship. By reflecting on the impact of Jesus' divinity on the development of Christian doctrine and theology, we can appreciate the enduring legacy of this profound question. In conclusion, this subchapter serves as a comprehensive guide for Christians interested in understanding the historical and theological research that has shaped contemporary perspectives on Jesus' divinity. By delving into the rich tapestry of debates, influences, and alternative viewpoints, readers are empowered to engage in informed and thoughtful discussions on this fundamental aspect of their faith.